Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're totally new here, then hi, my name is Vilma. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I am continuing on my spring edit and I wanted to talk about somewhat outfit formulas. Formulas that you can implement with pieces you already have in your wardrobe or if you have added new pieces to your wardrobe and you're not entirely sure how to style them, hopefully this this video will be helpful. So I'm going to be talking about four formulas and each formula I will create two separate outfits which are very very similar but it's just really to give you an idea of how you can change a few things and have somewhat of a completely different look. So without further ado let's get started with this video. Okay guys, so formula number one is going to be denim on denim. And this is very, very big. I feel like denim is definitely having a moment in 2023. I know that every year, every single season, we have new styles of denim. But I find that spring definitely brings that elevation to denim when it comes out with shirts, with longer skirts this year. Denim is definitely having a moment and I am here for it. Now, as as you can see side by side these looks are similar but quite different. So look number one is the casual look where I'm styling my shirt untucked. I styled it with trainers. I rolled up the bottom of the trousers to show a little bit of my ankles and I styled it with a more classic looking bag. Because this look is very very casual I wanted it to be a little bit more elevated and for me to look like I have my stuff together if that makes any sense because if I was to wear something very very casual for my accessory I think this look wouldn't feel as nice as it feels right now I really really love this it's very casual very kind of like everyday vibes but still looks quite stylish look number two I decided to tuck in my shirt. I find that this particular detail really shows your silhouette, your feminine side, and it makes the look less casual. Now for my accessories, I wanted everything to be either brown or a little bit beige, so to break a little bit of the denim on denim. Now my ballet flats are of a really nice beige tone, and I wanted to not matchy match on this look. I wanted the back to have a different tone but still be cohesive with the other two tones that I'm styling this outfit. So the brown tone of the bag is a little bit more rich. It's darker. The bag has texture because it almost looks like it's knitted but it's made of leather. And the three color rule in this particular look are very very cohesive. So side by side you can see that these looks are different but they are very wearable and quite on trend. Okay moving right along to my second formula and that is going to be styling blazers with jeans and more specifically cream jeans which is something that I absolutely love at this time of year. Now I know a lot of people like white jeans. I prefer off-white or cream because I think the color is a little bit softer. So I will be styling it with two blazers from Marquette which are the exact same style but just different tones. So let's start with the beige blazer. As you can see here for this look I styled different tones of beige which are very cohesive with one another and my pop of color if you will is my blue striped shirt which I think it's a great addition to anyone's wardrobe especially at this time of year. Now this look for me is the dress down look for a Friday. I really love it although it still looks quite sophisticated because of the blazer the bag and the shoes of course because they have a little bit of a heel and they look quite feminine. I feel like the entire look is the perfect look for a outfit combination because of the different tones of beige and also the blue shirt. For the other look where I went a little bit more of a contrast type of formula, I styled my black blazer with a white t-shirt, the off-white jeans and a pair of flat Mary Jane 
shoes. Now I'm calling them Mary Janes. They are not actually Mary Janes, but they are kind of along those lines. Now I really love this formula as well. Pairing black with white and off-white is a great way of incorporating things that are spring appropriate with transitional pieces such as the black blazer and the black shoes. And to complement the blazer and the shoes, I paired it also with a black bag, which is quite simple. And the entire look is very, very cohesive. I know some people don't like to pair black with really light colors, but this is a great way to transition from winter to spring. Okay, so the next formula that we're going to talk about is going to be incorporating something that is quite feminine and classic at the same time with the edge to it. And what do I mean by this? For example, skirts, which are very, very in at the moment, especially maxi skirts or longer skirts, are not something that you wear every single day. But creating a formula that can give you at least two to three different looks when you're wearing this particular piece will give you more ways to wear something that maybe you thought you could wear. This particular skirt that I have here is from Mango. And I'm going to say right off the bat, this skirt is a little bit too big for me. I bought the wrong size, but we're going to try and move past it and just look at how we can style this skirt in two different ways. So I'm going to start with the casual outfit formula. Here I styled the skirt with a denim shirt, which is super in right now. I did mention that at the start of this video. I added a belt because I wanted to add something more to the look. I find that this skirt is quite straight and cut. Although feminine, I feel like this skirt is supposed to hang slightly rather than being on the waist. So I wanted to add a belt to add more interest to the look. When it comes to footwear, because the skirt is quite dressy, I wanted to give the shirt a cohesiveness at the bottom. And I added the trainers because I feel like the trainers will really complement the shirt itself. I already have two pieces which are quite dressy, which is the skirt and the belt. And giving it a little bit more of a feminine and a more sophisticated look, I added this bag right here which I feel like complements both the skirt and the belt and makes the entire look come together a lot better. This would be a great way to incorporate something that is quite dressy with other things that are trending, for example, such as the denim shirt and really make your wardrobe look a little bit more elevated. On the other hand, my other look is going to be an all black look, which is a great formula to incorporate in so many different ways in your wardrobe. I find that tonal look is very, very sophisticated. So I feel like I'm cheating a little bit. This is a completely different formula, but at the same time, I wanted to show you how I would make the skirt look casual and totally elevated to a completely more sophisticated look. I am pairing it with an off the shoulder top, which I love, it's from Cause, and it's not super tight on the body. So it kind of goes really well with the skirt, being that the skirt is slightly loose on me. And then at the bottom, I styled it with really nice minimalist sandals, which I think it's a great way to make the look look even more feminine, but not over the top because the sandals are super minimal. And again, for bag, I styled it with a very small minimal bag. Everything goes really, really well together. And I feel like for looks like this, you can play a little bit with your makeup, especially with your lipstick. If you like a bold lip, I think it would look amazing on here. And even your accessories when it comes to like earrings or maybe even your necklaces, play a little bit because there's so much black here that you can add something more to the look if you want to just add your own personal touch. So for my last formula, I'm going to be talking about smart trousers and cropped jackets. I find that this combination is a great way not only to maximize your wardrobe because I love smart trousers, 
but crop jackets are very, very in this year, especially the utility jackets. And those are the two that I'm going to be showing you in this video. So for the smarter look where I'm wearing the beige utility jacket and the beige trousers, I love this for the office. I feel like this particular formula or this particular look is perfect for those of you who like to wear smart pieces with a little bit of an edge, but you want to be comfortable at the same time. So I am wearing flat shoes, which is my preferred way of styling my outfits anyway when I go to work. I really, really love this. So in this look, I am styling a white button-up shirt, which is something that everybody should have in their wardrobe with the utility jacket from Cause in this beautiful beige tone. This is made of rich cotton. It feels very silky and very smooth. The trousers are from Marquette. They have this lovely, I don't know if it's a beige tone or it's kind of like a mauve tone. It's very, very unique. And I really, really love them. They're they are made of wool, but they're perfect for the transitional period. And for footwear, I am styling it with my ballet flats, also from Marquette, which complement the blazer, in my opinion. Although the tones of beige are completely different, I feel like they really complement each other. And to bring the entire look together, I wanted to add one more piece that almost complements the trousers, but it's a little bit darker in tone. And this is my mango bag. This is something that I really wanted to add to my wardrobe for quite some time. And I love it. I just feel like this outfit combination, this formula works really, really well. For the other outfit formula that you see here, also with a cropped jacket, I am wearing darker tones. So I'm gonna start with my navy trousers, which are from Cause. They're also made of wool. So a great transitional piece at this time of year. I love navy and I feel like I will be wearing this until the weather warms up. I will be wearing these trousers. I love them. They're high-waisted, kind of like relaxed and wide leg. I paired it with a white t-shirt, which is a staple in my wardrobe. I find that white t-shirts, everybody should have them as well. This one is from Marquette. And my cropped utility jacket is also from Cause, which I absolutely love. Now I wanted this look to be quite casual, so I paired it with my Superga trainers, which again, just add so much elevation to the outfit because they are casual, but also smart at the same time, in my opinion. When it comes to trainers, they're definitely smart. For bag, I kept it quite minimal and simple, but I find that this entire look is very, very chic. Although casual, I think it's a great outfit formula to incorporate something that is trending as the crop jacket with other pieces which are very, very classic in your wardrobe. So we've reached the end of today's video. I do hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, as always, please make sure to give this video a good old thumbs up because it really, really helps my channel out. Thank you so much for joining me. And oh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye.